Hey, hey, Trailblazers. How is it going, Facebook? How is it going, everyone? I hope you guys are doing well. I'm just turning Instagram off there. How are you guys? So, I um, wanted to jump on and share some content with you guys. I've had some awesome, awesome conversations recently with uh, friends and clients and so on. And I was like, right, got to jump on, got to share some content. So, if you're watching the replay, just uh, tag down below, hashtag replay, if you are here live. Awesome to have you here. Hey Jamil, I hope I've pronounced your name properly. Um, hey Yusuf. So let us know where are you in the world and how is your day going? How is your day going? So I wanted to jump on and share some content with you on leading your life. Okay, so I haven't shared really publicly um, all the different things that are going on and you know my insights and so on. So I'm just fixing some some things here. Um, but I wanted to, rather than kind of sharing my opinion about what's happening, which in a lot of ways, it might be important, it might not be, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm all about helping people to empower their mindset and empower themselves to discover the answers that are right and true for them. Okay, so um, courage has been a, a big thing that's been coming up with my clients recently. So I wanted to put something together to share with you guys about how you can lead your life and how you can lead your mindset during this time. If you're watching this, like share some love, love hearts, love hearts, thumbs up, all of that good stuff, share some comments, any questions as well, please do put them in. I'm hoping that my, because the last time Facebook, um, the comments weren't showing up live, so please do share them anyway, that would be a really good test for me to see if they're coming through. All right, so leading with your life, leading your life with courage, the first place is that we start with your identity as a leader. Each and every single one of us is a leader in our lives. We are capable, for sure, like we have this innate capability to make decisions and decide what we want our life to look like, what we want to experience, what we don't want to experience. Um, we get to decide what is right and true for us. And we get to reinvent and transform our ideas identity and how we see ourselves right and so awesome thank you for the thumbs up I'm seeing them but I'm not seeing any comments so post below a comment let me know how you are just to, and because I obviously would love to know but also so I can test and see um, if my comments thread is working that would be awesome so your identity as a leader is something which you've got to tap into now you don't have to be a public leader um, you know, like myself with the work that I do, for example, we're talking about just leading your life, leading yourself to success, to abundance, to, to your personal greatness, because that's what we're here to experience, right? And so your identity as a leader is really, really important. Deciding that you're going to take control and take charge is perfect. It's like, it's what's required, okay? Right, so I'm going to share with you six key areas and six key things that you can do to lead your life with courage. And the first one is something which I have always done because I'm a rebel. I always have been, especially when it comes to, I don't like being told what to think. Okay, and so I challenge pretty much most of what I'm told. And of course, it's got me in trouble. Of course, it's got me into confrontations and arguments. And it's just like, whatever, it just is what it is. Because what is important to me is truth, right? I don't want to just take on someone's beliefs just because they've said that it's true. And so what I would encourage you to do is to think for yourself. To lead your life with courage requires that you think for yourself. And so this means that you challenge some of the things that you're hearing and that you're learning about and that people are sharing. Even if it's something which resonates, like really just check in with yourself. Because you're a sovereign, free, divine being, you have your own mind. And before you agree with somebody, you get to decide, is this real for me? Is this true for me? Does this match my values? Does this match who I am? And if it does, great. If it doesn't, okay. Um, but take that, take that on board that you actually do have the capabilities to say i'm gonna think for myself before being told what to think and so this requires challenging challenging some of the things that you hear <laughs> like i said i mean for me personally it's, yeah it's got me in trouble but it's just kind of actually just led to some awesome conversations and um 
all kind of rebellious mindset. It just is what it is. But in this day and age, and especially with the, the, the things that are out there at the moment, um, you get to take back your power by deciding what is right and true for you. Thumbs up, love hearts, comments would be awesome. I'm not seeing the comments, so I'm just wondering if my Facebook is working, but please do share comments, let me know where you are. And if you have any questions, share them, because I will, I'll, I'll fidget about with it and just to make sure I've answered any questions that come up as well, okay? So think for yourself, challenging, challenging mindsets that you are being presented with, challenging the content, because um, you're a free sovereign being and freedom is your right. It just is, okay? Right, the next thing is to become courageous and speak in your truth. So courage is one of my, courage and freedom and integrity, or truth, those three or four values are my core values. And what I've learned in overcoming fears is that the opposite of fear, in order to overcome fear, you've got to have courage. You've got to have the opposite, right? Awesome, thank you. Um, and so being courageous in speaking your truth is it's a given and it takes courage of course it takes courage to overcome fear and so what i would encourage you to do is to speak your truth but to speak your truth number one to yourself first i need to polish my nails because um, i've been peeling the polish <laughs> so i'm just seeing that on camera um speak your truth to your first to yourself first right and that can take courage because sometimes we've we've given so much bullshit so much crap and and we just don't know we've given away our power and we don't know what our truth is and we have to come to that point of like this is what is right and true for me and honoring that with courage then i would encourage you to share your truth with those that you trust with your friends family with those that you trust okay um and whether you choose to share your truth publicly, that's always going to be up to you, depending on, do you know what I mean? But I'm having a lot of conversations with customers and clients and friends as well, where they're feeling kind of stifled in what they feel they can say and they want to say. And so I'm just saying, listen, at the end of the day, honor your truth and decide what is right for you. Start from there and then decide what works for you out with, okay? And the next thing, okay, so speak, leading your life with courage is about stopping the people pleasing, right? We all, we all have, we've been conditioned with this idea that we need to seek approval and validation outside of ourselves. And the truth of it is you're here to lead your life into what is right and true for you, which involves other people, okay? But it doesn't mean that you have to seek their validation or their approval, Self-love and self-worth is about saying, okay, I see myself as the divine creative me and I see myself in that truth and I actually don't need to seek anything outside of myself because that truth is within me and I get to please myself, right? And again, this takes courage because we've been taught, um, we, thank you so much, I just see loads, awesome, thank you. Thank you. Um, we just see loads of um, behaviors and conditioning telling us to seek approval from others. And listen, I'm not saying that I've got this 100% down to the T. I mean, I've got it down to a T pretty well. Um, but those moments where I'm just like, oh, da -da -da, what did you think? Oh, what are your thoughts? And look, when I'm seeking approval, I can rein that back. You know, I can see that behavior. Um, leading this life, this is your life. You get to lead it with courage, okay? Um, oh, awesome. Thank you, Mabosha. I really, really appreciate that. So the comments are working. Yay. Please keep sharing comments as well and share this video. Share it as a watch party. I think you can do that. Um, and if you have any questions, please keep sharing. I've got five, four more points that I really want to make before I jump off. Um, I don't even know, I've, I've already been going for nine, nine minutes. Oh well, it is what it is. I wanna help you guys, I really do. Um, honor your boundaries. So, um, honoring your boundaries. Okay, so earlier on I was coaching a client of mine and I was sharing with her about different levels of consciousness, okay? So, I my childhood was marred by physical abuse, emotional abuse, sexual abuse, mental abuse, and so on, okay? That was the first part 
a big chunk of my my kind of upbringing what i i've never really felt like a victim but i could feel that victim consciousness right this feeling of other people have taken away my power and i am powerless and what I had to learn was that this level of consciousness as an abused person was a very limited victim consciousness um, awareness, right? Consciousness is just awareness of knowledge and wisdom. That's how I describe it. So I had to move that victim abused consciousness and navigate myself out, right? With, by expanding my mindset, by expanding my consciousness, by really kind of looking at this world with different eyes. And that led me to moving into eventually to where I'm at now, which is God consciousness, unity consciousness, this kind of infinite possibilities consciousness. We live in a universe of different levels of awareness. Now, some people, many people, and sometimes we can dip in and out, are at this kind of lower level victim consciousness it is what it is and I, like with all the compassion in the world we've got to love and respect where that person is but we get to choose that we are going to navigate up and we're going to move into this divine consciousness in order to leave, lead our lives with courage and so honoring your boundaries is about saying hey this is where i'm at these are my boundaries this is how I expect to be treated. This is how I deserve to be respected. And you've got to honor your boundaries with your voice, with your energy, with your actions, and teach others how they get to treat you. Okay? And it goes both ways as well. But honoring your boundaries is absolutely key in order to lead your life with courage. All right, so the next one is respecting your journey. Um, the previous point that I just made there about kind of consciousness levels is related to this as well. But respect your journey. We're all here to ultimately become our source, our soul self, to draw down the higher self and to be in that kind of divine union with, with God, with unity consciousness, with this higher level um, of awareness. And that requires understanding that we're on a journey if this resonates let me know right share below love hearts share t thumbs up comments questions would be awesome yeah um respect your journey it's some some parts of it are really messy really uncomfortable really painful i've been there i absolutely have been there i mean people close to me and, and publicly now as well know that i've been to hell and back and I've come out of it. And so everything that I do now is about showing you guys how you can do the same, how you can come out of tough times, difficult times and mindsets and come into ultimate freedom, right? And this is about respecting your journey. Ups, downs, twists, turns, left, rights, as I always say, it just is what it is. We weren't meant to have like a straight road. Um, and it's just about accepting that life is like this. And you, as a sovereign being, have the strength and the courage within you to absolutely overcome any challenge and any obstacle and still show up. You have it within you, right? So I'm reminding you guys, okay, respecting your journey. And then the final point is really, so my company is called Life Is Today. My heart's kind of motto and my heart's song is to remind people that life is today. It's right here, right now. This is the only moment which exists. What this really means deep down is that we're all going to come, and this is a fact, so I don't even need to say it in an other way, like definitely not wanting to trigger anybody, but the fact is that we're alive and at some point we're all, as a fact, we're all going to pass away, all of us, right? And I've had a number of near-death experiences. I've had, I've had to face my fear of death. I've literally stared it in the face and been like, okay, this is where I'm at right now. This is something that I need to face with courage and so I'm sharing it from that place and when we come to our final moment our life is actually just between us and the divine however you describe that okay us and God again however you describe that whatever that is in your in your kind of world when we come to that final moment we've really just got to accept 
and look at how we've lived our life. Have we loved ourselves? Have we honored ourselves? Have we seen ourselves as the divine created us? Have we served others? Have we helped others? Have we done everything we could to make our dreams come true? Have we stood up for ourselves and for humanity? And those final moments are going to be a really pivotal moment, right? Whenever we come to that, there's no guarantee of when we're going to come to it, but the guarantee is that we are going to get there. And so leading your life with courage, hey guys, leading your life with courage is about saying, do you know what? I, I did what I came here to do and I had the courage to speak up, to honor my journey, to share love with others, to be loved and to help make a, an, an, a beautiful world in this wonderful world that we already live in regardless of what you might be seeing externally in another video I'll talk about your inner world and how that's a reflection um, or your external world is a reflection of your outer world but I really wanted to share that I, I just felt that this was content that people really really want to hear and will resonate with um, I so so appreciate the, the love and the love hearts that showed me that my Facebook is working properly and the comments as well. If you do have any questions, post them below. Please do share this. And um, yeah, if you would like to hear more from me, um, I've got a newsletter where you can download a free version of my book, an online version of my book, 101 Plus Ways to Overcome Life's Biggest Obstacles. So head on over to leilakhanauthor.com to get a, a free downloadable version of that. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, post them below and I am more than happy to get back to you guys. Send in so, so much love. And as always, hey Hakan, as always, um, remember that you can absolutely overcome any obstacles, any challenges that you are going through, and you can still show up fearlessly in life and business. Thank you guys, enjoy your evening, and thank you so much for your time. I can talk, I, yeah, I'm starting to realize that. <laughs> All right, take care everyone, bye.